Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use a Firefox extension to extract data from the web and make flashcards for st uh, memorizing things. So step number one is to go to the Firefox add-ons page and download an extension called Table Tools 2. I'm going to put the link to this in the notes below the video. So after you've installed Table Tools 2, you want to go to Google. I'm going to use some sample data from Wikipedia. So I'm going to look on Wikipedia timelines and there's a page called List of Timelines. Scrolling down here, I'm going to use as an example Timeline of the Middle Ages. And we'll start with the 5th and 6th centuries here. Uh, this isn't really good for Anki flashcards because we in this I only want a front and a back of a card, so I just want uh, the event on the front and the year on the back. So I have to get rid of these extra two columns. I'm going to right click on the header of the column that I want to delete and choose Table Tools 2, Other, Hide the Clicked Column. So now we just have three columns left. I'm going to hide the Date column by right clicking on it, Table Tools 2, other, hide clicked column. So now I have just the front and the back of my flashcards. I can right click anywhere in this new table, go back down to Table Tools 2, copy, copy the table as tab delimited text. So now I have this on my clipboard. I can go to any spreadsheet program, load up a spreadsheet, paste it. I just want to make sure that it's Unicode and it looks like all the defaults are good. You can see a preview down here if you're using LibreOffice or OpenOffice. Click OK and now I have years and events. I'm going to copy this, uh, sorry, cut this column out and paste it over here. and delete this column. So now the front of my card, the front of my card is going to be the column on the left and the back of my card is going to be the column on the right. And I don't want event and year to be uh, to be data on my flashcards. So I'm going to delete that row. Now my flashcards are ready and I go to File, Save As I'm going to change the type to CSV and I've already done a medieval timeline here but I'm going to save it. I'm going to overwrite this previous one. Yes, I want to replace. Make sure that you use CSV format and it's important to make sure that you use UTF-8 so I click Unicode UTF-8 and that should be it. So OK. Now I need to load up Anki and I click Import File. Choose Medieval Timeline. Open. The deck that I want to add it to, I'm going to make a new deck. So I click Add. I call this Medieval History. Okay. And I think all the defaults are fine. Field 1 is going to be the front. That's the column 1 in our spreadsheet. Field 2 is going to be the back. That's the column 2 of our spreadsheet. You can make extra fields if you want, but that's for another screencast. Now I'm going to click Import. Now it says 18 notes have been added. Click close. Scroll down, medieval history. I've got 18 flashcards. Study now. And clicking the answer shows me the year and I can mark it whether it's easy or difficult and Anki does its thing. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks.